Welcome back to ICT Paper 2 for Feb and March 2020. We're going to carry on to the presentation task. We already finished with document production, data manipulation, and mail merging. You can find the link of those videos in the description below. So right now, let's go to the presentation or PowerPoint or slides task. And that's the last uh, task in uh, this paper or paper 2. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Unless otherwise instructed, slides must be formatted to display a title and bulleted list. Question number 19, create a presentation of five slides using the file that is called press.rtf. Okay, the first step you can do it is just go and open a new PowerPoint uh, file. You don't need to actually open a new blank one. Just go and click over the software and go and open and browse to your folder where all of your files are located. Just take the path and paste it over here. You will find that nothing is appearing here. Actually, the file we're looking for is it's an RDF file and here they're allowing you to open only PowerPoint file. So just click on it and make all the extensions visible and you're going to easily find the file they're asking for. So open it. You will find it is easily open in five slides with each uh, just arranged with its title and contents. Uh, after that, question number 20, design a master slide. So here we're starting our master slides for the presentation with a minimum of four features. So they're asking at least for four features to apply it to all of those slides by using slide master or master slide. So this may include, you can use slide number, you can use any lines, colors and designs animations or transitions. You can use any four or all of them. After that, don't forget to add your information uh, on all the slides. Not mention where exactly, but you can add it anywhere. Okay, so let's go right now to view. Click on Slide Master. And don't forget always to scroll to the very first slide. If you didn't do so, it won't be applied to all of your slides. Okay, right now let's start to add to some of those features. Let me start with the slide number. So go to insert, header and footer, and click over the slide number. You will notice this area become highlighted. Okay, apply it to all. So here we go, your page number is added. So we added the first one. We can add also some lines. Okay, we can go to insert. Insert, you're going to find some of the shapes over here. You can add the shape, you can use any of the lines actually, so we are in the line. Yes, so let's add at least some of the lines. So let's take two lines, I'm going to just select this one. And I'm going to throw it, throw it over here, one. I can hold shift on my keyboard just to make the line go straight. Okay, make it uh, go to shape outline. And you can increase the width, uh, the weight of the line, so it can be visible. Okay. You can change the shape or the color. Okay, as I change it, though, I can change the color from here. Let me take another one. Just copy and paste it, and let's put it down here. And make sure nothing is overlapping. Okay, I will just select them together, uh, hold shift and select them and take them a little bit to up. Alright, and then I will take this line and put it over here. You can design this line in any way you like it. You can make it into other different dashes or make it like an arrow. I'm just going to leave it like a line. So I added the lines, slide number, let's add some colors and design themes. So add for the colors and design theme. So you can go to slide master tab and over here you have background styles. You can choose any of those background styles. Okay, or you can just choose the themes from over here. They're going to give you some ready-made themes, but I prefer to select it from here. 
Okay, I'm going to select this one. It is not matching more matching with the green color. So uh, so far I added these two. What else we can add is to just some more shapes over here. So let me take a shape from here and let's add it over here. Let's make it a little bit matching with this color. And let me just copy and put another one over here. Okay, and so, so far I added the color and design theme. Let's add the animation. To add the animation, I have to go over here and highlight this. Go to the animation and select any specific animation you want to add it. Okay, so I got uh, so far how many? This is the fourth one. If you want to add the transition between the slides also, that's also possible. So go to the transition and select any of the transition that you like it. I'm just going to reveal one. Okay. Or maybe I can choose to split. That can be faster. Okay, that's better one. And okay, after that I added the transition. And last thing, let's add the name, center number, and candidate number to open to appear on all the slides. So to add this, let's go to insert, header and footer, activate the footer, and add the information over here. Apply to all, and it is this one. So we're using this one and this one. We don't need the date, so I'm going to remove the date. It's basically not going to appear, but I'm going just to remove it and let's put this to the left side while the page on the right side okay we can increase the font and probably you can change the color as well to be matching and let's close the slide master and check it okay so it's looking much better and right now let's go and check the next question so this is also done right now for evidence number 11 place in your evidence document to show the features that you have applied for the master slide okay i forgot to run it let's run it and check the animation and transitions mm -hmm. let me make it into duplicate Okay, I think the transition is quite dim and it's not showing that much, but you can see over here the transition is happening. And then you can see clearly these are the animations. Okay, this is a transition from one slide to another. Those are the animations. So to do the evidence, what we have to do we need to show actually page already showing here all the colors and themes and designs and lines are showing only animation and slide uh, and transitions are not visible so to make them appear let's go to slide master go to the very first one click on animation and you're going to get the animation here showing take a screen capture for this one okay so that's going to be in evidence number 11 paste it over here so that's showing one two and then three the lines and for the background and the design that the shapes on the right and left side we added we have transition it is actually not showing to make it show you can go over here at the top and you can show them that you selected this transition and you can paste it down of this picture I believe it is too small so I'm going just to take this into a new page Okay, that's a better view. And question number 21, format the first slide. 
so that a title layout is applied with no bullets. So let's go back again here. Let's close the slide master and let's go to the very first slide, right click on it and choose the title slide. You will notice the bullets uh, has disappeared. So that's the first line. The second line says uh, title and subtitle text are center in the middle of the slide. Both are center. If they are not center, just make them center alignment. Uh, enter your name after the text, which is presentation by over here. Okay, so after that, move the last slide with the title safety in the home to become the second slide. So let's check where is the slide with the title safety. Okay, it is this one. So move it and bring it to become the second slide and just drag it to the second place. Okay. 23, add the following text as a presenter or speaker notes for the slide that has the title gas appliances. So let's go and look for the gas appliances, which is this one. What we need to add, we need to add this as a speaker note. So copy it and let's go over here make this notes visible and drag it to up and then paste over here the a note and print only this slide as a presenter speaker notes so let's go over here select this one go to file click on print and over here in the settings choose print the current slide which you already selected which is the gas appliances after that they're telling you to print this as a single oh yeah okay we need to make this presenter and speaker notes also visible so to do the so go to this next setting and choose the page layout or print layout to be with notes pages you will find your uh, notes is appearing over here again uh, along with the uh, slide so that's going to be printout number six just make sure your name and center number and candidate number here is visible and that's print out number six and print your uh, slide 24 print the presentation in a format showing six slides to the page okay so one page should contain six slides that's going to be print out number seven six slides and make sure again your all information are visible to do so again go back to print in the first setting change it to print all slides in the second part here go and change it into six slides whether horizontally or vertically uh, they haven't mentioned any specific format so you can choose any of them after that make sure your number and center number candidate number are visible they're visible on all of the slides and that's it and print your printout number seven Okay, so we're done with the presentation questions for the printing the evidence document. That's going to be the last printout for you. All you need to do is just make sure no orphan or no widows. You have it in any of your printing documents, especially the evidence document. And then you can just simply go and print that evidence document. I hope you got all the questions. I hope it was clear explanations. If you have any question, put it in the comment section and see you in the next paper.